All right, so let's take a walk around this particular box here. Now, it may appear just off a quick glance that I actually did a frame and panel system on the outside of this box, and I actually didn't do that, and I wish I had. What I did is I simply thought I was going to save time, so you can see I glued up some 1x6 pine boards to create the frame of the box and then I just simply added trim to it. It actually makes it probably a lot heavier than you want it. I was kind of in a rush so I glued these up and then I just added the trim over top. Now if I would have had either the patience to do half laps to create these frames and then bought some you know quarter inch or half inch um, plywood and created panels and set these in there that would have made this box a whole lot less um, in weight and it probably would look better as well but that's what I did so you simply just have a lot more wood maybe than you need. So I started with that, I glued those up and created the box. And then I came through and added trim. And then I decided to add this to keep little fingers from being smashed as long as they keep their hands here when they open and close it. But I also added these slides, these friction slides. And you can adjust these to however you want. It wasn't come down fast, see. And you can see from the way I did my corners, I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to do them. So the sides are different from the front. But that's just my own little unique goof up, if you will. But the main challenge to this box was creating this lid. Now I had a request to build this from a family member, and I guess I didn't think it was going to be easy however um, as you get into it um, it can be discouraging and I finished this off with my own way of creating this um, round top but for the main portion of it that you see here I believe the YouTube channel that I came across is called It's Wayne, uh, something like that. And I'm going to leave a link um, to his video. Uh, he has the calculation that you come up with to create this. Let me walk over here and show you the jig I have on the wall. This is actually a jig I made based off of his video. This is just hanging on the wall. If I want to build another one, I can bring it down. But you can see those arches there and when you cut your boards you set them on on there and then there's these pass-throughs here that you run your straps through when you lock everything together and glue it up but if i ever want to make another one i have a nice jig on the wall but the gist of it is you do the calculation and you come up with how wide you want each board to be and it gives you a cut angle each of these boards to create the arch before you glue it up. Mine was 2.49 was the angle. Really goofy angle. And you cut each one of those at that and it gives you what you need. However, I think when I did my calculation I didn't quite um, have good reference points to create it. Um, so I did have some issues here and the final glue up. You can see I had to add in some wood filler here. But I also created these. I want it to have a flat edge on the outside. I didn't want this to round all the way down into here which would have created a different angle here. So I created this frame to the top myself just by really playing around with it. So his, his video will give you all the gist of coming up with that. 
All in all, I'm pretty happy with the box. I'm sure I could do a better job if I was to do another one. Um, I used three coats of lacquer on this, just brush on lacquer. Um, I sanded on the second coat and then put a third coat on. And I think it looks pretty decent. And then I added these rope handles, just simply a couple of knots on the inside to create those. So just a quick few tips here. Um, when I was gluing this lid up, I had been given a suggestion to glue it up possibly in thirds or even a half on that jig I showed you on the wall. And I got a little too impatient. I glued the whole thing up. I made it work, um, but I would say managing-wise, this is a 40 by... 20 um, box is pretty difficult to manage all those glue ups because um, that stuff starts to set up and then it starts to freak you out like you might not get the positions you, that you need for it to turn out right as far as the gaps and making sure you get it aligned along here I tried I tried really hard to get a nice square edge um, because the table saw I have to square it up is just too small to set it up there and get it through there. So I'd say be patient if you can and take your time. Um, if you find you want to do it the way I did it as far as the framing of it, you're just going to have to play around um, and figure it out. But I think you can, if you decide, you can carry this top all the way down into the top of this box and I think that's where my calculations got a little off I wasn't given good reference points um, to the math but like I said I'll give you the link to uh, the description in the description um, to um, I believe it's it's Wayne and he'll have a few videos I believe on making one of these and if you also type in uh, coopering c-o-o-p-e-r coopering that's actually the technique used in making uh, whiskey and wine barrels and I think you'll find a lot of uh, good videos on making the round tops as well. So I appreciate you checking out my video. If you have any questions, um, please leave them in the comments. And I'll be happy to help you any way I can. Thanks for watching. See you later.